How's everyone day? I hope everyone day is going a okay. Cause me myself personally, my day is going great. Now you guys, I just dropped that video right, and I looked at the video. I don't know, so I don't know why my picture didn't pop up on the video that I had it, but I had an overlapping in it. Sometime, if you don't do certain things, it will disappear. Well, not disappear. It was behind the other picture. That because the other picture, it was overlapping the other picture, but it didn't show up. But this is what I was telling you guys about. You see the back door is open, right? The back door of this car is open. So this is what proves a billion percent that they was with FBG Duck. The guy that's allegedly down there on the ground, he was with Duck. And this is the shot right here. You see that bullet trajectory right there behind that little back window where the hole is at? This is the shot I was telling you about, the one that hit Duck in his neck. You feel me? That made him even reach for the driver's side of the car and get out the car this was the first shot right here you guys and the guy that's down there you can you already know the guy that they say that wasn't with duck was not shot and he was with duck and this is why this back door is open you see what i'm saying because guess what the police will not they can't even go over there and open the back door or nothing like that because it's a crime scene so they got to leave everything just how it is and this is why the back door is open because that guy that's laying on the ground that they saying that was allegedly not with duck when i'm telling y'all that's a cotton picking lie that guy got out to move these cones this cone right here see that cone was stretched out you guys and it's another two cones that was sitting over there by duck's back wheel as well that cone right there was stretched out you guys and that spot that was right there was saved for duck and this is why that back door is open because the guy that's laying right there on the ground got out he gave the signal to bike man and then bike man let off the shot in the back window y'all remember when i was telling y'all bike man jumped too fast and listen when the dude opened the door and gave the signal the guy on the bike the same dude that was out there taking the footage he was supposed to jump first and go and let off the shot right but he jumped too quick you guys and this is why it went in that back window right there and hit duck and uh, up under that back window and hit duck in his neck see he tried to give duck the head shot so duck head can hit the other side of the window mr curly rides up doo -doo -doo -doo, and they say duck got hit in the drive-by execution style but they had to switch everything up because everything backfired on them because duck ate those that first bullet right there because it hit duck in his neck and not in his head which the guy on the bike was supposed to give duck the head shot when the back door came open but this is how duck ends up like this when he's trying to park do you see this front footage right here this this other um little photo i got up there this is why ducks like that because duck was trying to back up and he told dude to move the cones the guy got out the back seat to move the cones that was the code for bike man to let the shot off but he was supposed to hit duck in his head bike man jumped so quick you see and this is why the bullet went there hit duck in his neck duck grabbed the driver's door you guys and duck jumped out and that's why you see that bullet back there at the top of that brown car back there because that was where one of the shots landed because curly mr curly was driving up in that black 300 and he started letting off the shots because duck jumped out the car duck didn't stay in the car or catch the head shot like he was supposed to because it was going to be like a drive by shooting and duck was executed in the car but when duck ate those shots you see that spots their whole play and this is why mr curly was the first one right there on the scene with bike man ran in there and this is what he was looking for in the car the trajectories you see what i'm saying the one that hit duck in his neck and that's why he ran to the car because he picked two of them up off the ground you feel me this is why duck fell right there how he fell now don't y'all see why ducks up there look at that top photo don't y'all see ducks rear end right you see what ducks laying at right what do you see right there by duck a cone right didn't i tell you it was a cone on the other side see so that tells you a billion percent that 
Someone knew Duck was coming to the Gold Coast because they had that cone there. And the back door of this car that's open tell you another billion percent that the guy that's laying on the ground was with Duck. You see what I'm saying? And y'all lying about all this so we know for a fact in a billion percent that the guy on the ground isn't hit either. You guys, we know... If we know that um, that they allegedly lied about all this stuff, then that should tell you a fact. If they're lying about how many times the shots went off, how many times Duck was hit and all that, that tells you a billion and two percent that Muwap Nim is innocent, right? And that tells you a billion and two percent that the girl is with the play, right? And the girl is with Mama Duck and running around and they're doing what they're doing. So that tells you that the mother's with the play, as well right and what else did that tell you that also tells you this explains why you never got the footage of four shooters jumping out of two cars gunning duck down it's just no way on god's green earth I'm in the Gold Coast right now, and man, I, I was just riding my bike, y'all. I'm just riding my bike. F Fuck, man. Fuck, man. They shot LBG Duck, man. I don't know who shot him, man. I just fucking ran into this, y'all. F man. I'm no. step back. I'm back. I'm back. I need back. you to step behind me. Listen your here. There ain't no I line. What line, ma'am? I need you to step back. Listen here. I'm behind my bike. I'm behind my bike. I stay in this neighborhood. I stay up the street. Y'all, come on. I understand that. Y'all, they this, man. I don't know, man. Uh, okay, listen here. Okay. Listen here. All right. Hey, y'all. What's going on? I'm, I'm here. I'm in the Gold Coast. I'm in the Gold Coast right now. Hey man, I, I was just riding my bike, y'all. I'm just riding my bike. You guys, this is the most important part right here. I want everybody who has never seen this right here to watch this. Now, y'all heard him say he just pulled up in the Gold Coast, right? Now, you guys, guess what? He screwed the plan up right off top because he forgot Duck's name. Now, watch when I tell y'all a billion percent. Y'all be thinking I'll be tripping. Watch this. Watch this police officer have to come and give this guy's Duck's name. Just watch this lady's shoulder. Fuck, man. Fuck, man. This is what I was telling y'all when I said he got shoulder to shoulder. That police officer, she got shoulder to shoulder with that guy and had to tell that dude, bike man, FBG Duck's name. That's why when he first saw it, he said they shot F, 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 F. Oh, man, they... And then she got shoulder to shoulder with him. And then he said, they shot FBG Duck because she told him FBG's Duck's name. So that show you right there that the police know the bike man. And that show you that the police know something that we don't know. Because how would this officer know that's FBG Duck on the ground? You feel me? Man, I don't know who shot him, man. I just fucking ran into this, y'all. F man. Talking about he don't know who shot him. He just ran into this. You see what I'm saying? But guess what, y'all? This video is, everybody I see with the video now, with dude talking, they chopped it down. The original video is 11 minutes and some seconds, you guys. The original video is 11 minutes and some seconds. Everybody got the video cut down to like 5.39 now. Because he say on there to my he don't know who shot him, y'all. Then he came back later on in the video and was like, hey, y'all, that's FBG Duck on the ground. I don't know who shot him. But the police didn't. <laughs> this is what he said, y'all. But he's supposed to be out there. All this rebellious. <laughs> I'm behind my bike. 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 I
you don't stay in that neighborhood up the street. You're from California, sir. The guy is from California, y'all. And on my next video, I'm going to go find it today. I'm going to show y'all his face as well. He's from California. Right after he got this video, he sent it to a clown in Texas by the name of Spliff D, who won put the video up. Because y'all remember what his mama said. Y'all just mad because Duck was finna sign to rap a lot. And the bike man had been at Mama Duck House out there in Markham putting the whole plan together. And this is why I told y'all they erased half of the video. You can't even find the 11 minute video. You're only going to find all these videos with about 5 minutes and some 539, 540 like that. Because that's when the bike man was saying, "Hey y'all, I ain't know who that was. I just had I heard the shots, and then when I came, when I rolled up, I looked down and noticed that that was a guy I've been in the house with before. Yeah, he was in that house over there in Markham with Mama Duck when they was planning on taking Duck out, and Duck walked in his mama house. You see what I'm saying?" That's a guy that I've been in the house with before. And that explains why allegedly the sheriffs went way out to Markham after Mama Duck Child is laying down there on the ground downtown, allegedly. Then they goes all the way out to Markham, you guys, the sheriffs, and raid her house. But what was they doing in her house? Looking through all her stuff and duck stuff, pictures and stuff. And the reason why they was doing that, because they wanted to get rid of anything that could connect the bike man to duck or mama duck. I stay in this neighborhood. I stay up the street. Y'all, come on. I understand that, y'all. They just, man, I don't know, man. Uh, okay, listen here, okay? Listen here, all right? Come on, man. I understand that. That's great, y'all. And hey, y'all, man, they just shot FBG Duck in the Gold Coast of Chicago, bro. In the Gold Coast of Chicago. See, first off, sir, you're screwing up big time, you guys. I want all y'all to hit the like button if you can tell 100% fact that this guy is not from Chicago. This is why he keeps saying, hey, y'all, they hit Duck, uh, they hit FBG Duck in the Gold Coast of Chicago. The Gold Coast of Chicago. No, people from Chicago will just be saying, hey, y'all, they shot Duck downtown. That's why I jumped up. Hey, I just got off my flight from L.A. and this and that. Now I have to come home. Da -da 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 -da. Only in Chicago. You just told us you just got off the flight. I come back home from L.A. Because that's where you're from. You're not from Chicago. You see what I'm saying? And that's why we could tell by your stupid little accent. And that's why you started your video off like, hey, you guys, I'm here in the Gold Coast. Yep, you're here to do what you got to do. Right after you hit Duck in his neck. And I'm going to prove to you a billion percent fact that the cops was with the play. And what else I'm going to prove to you a billion percent fact? That you know the cops out there that was with the play. Then I'm going to show you something that's going to even shock you. I'm going to show you how cold I am when I catch you up in this major, major, major screw up, sir. <laughs> Why, bro? Why do this For guy you guys who's not familiar with my channel, this guy right here, y'all, I call him the blocker. This police right here, he's the blocker, you guys, because they're doing some strange things over there, back there to Duck, because Duck was still alive when they drove up and did what they did to Duck. So this is why this guy is keep jumping in front of the camera. We won't see what they doing over there to Mr. FBG Duck. And on my life, on my soul, you guys, they're over there doing foul play to FBG Duck. And you know when I say something, I prove it, right? And that's why I'm finna prove it to you. Watch this. Y'all, uh, this is why I call him the bike man, because this is how he got up on Duck. So crucial, unnoticeable, y'all. He was riding on the sidewalk on that bike. You see what I'm saying? And when dude jumped out the back seat of the car, you feel me, to move those um, cones, that was the signal for a bike man to let the shot off, you guys. And this is why he was there First, you see, and I'm finna prove it to y'all that Bike Man let the shot off, and this is why Bike Man adrenaline was rushing so much, and he was screwing up, and he forgot Duck's name. So by the end of this video, you watch what I show you is a billion percent the truth. Y'all see the blocker, right? <laughs> He's gonna keep trying to block the camera because they do a foul play back there. The duck, watch. watch. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy. I'm 
I'm back, sir. I'm back. You can, you told me where to be at. I'm back. So I said that. All right. Step behind your bike and the police bike. I'm being stewarded now. Please stewarded now, sir. Step behind your bike and the police bike. Okay, I got you. I got you. Get him in here. Now look, I want y'all to check this out. Bike Man is running the show, and this is Bike Man's slick, strategic way of telling them to hurry up, you guys. We got to get this out the way. Now check this out. Hey, is you ringing for EMT? Huh? Are you? Did y'all dispatch? Where's the EMT? Okay, then get it, man. All right, get it, bro. Get it. Do your job. Attend to him and stop saying it's a crime scene. I, I, get, that, get that EMT. Go do your job. Get the EMT. Hurry up. Pull that EMT up. I don't care, sir. Okay, you, okay listen here. Listen. Now you guys see what I'm saying? He went from being like a concerned citizen, like he out there rebellious because it's a black brother laying on the ground to telling them what to do. You see him? Get that EMT. Hurry up. Get that EMT. Once y'all get that EMT, I'm out of here. He's telling them basically to hurry up, y'all. Hurry up. Hurry up for the real people get on the scene. This is why they had ducking that ambulance so quick and all that stuff like that. If you If y'all pay attention... The whole scene down there with Duck was only 11 minutes, you guys. That's it. That's how quick it was to drill Duck out. And then y'all see how the blocker is steady standing in front of the um, the camera because they're, um, because he don't want them to see the foul play that um, th that they're doing over there. And Bike Man knows it as well. And that's why he's keeping the camera right there on that dude. You see? Yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, listen, you do what you gotta do, you do what you gotta do, y'all, you do what you gotta do, I, I clearly understand this, man, look at this, y'all, I'm in the Gold Coast of Chicago, man, this is crazy, y'all, y'all, look at this, every look, only in Chicago. There's Mr. Curly, Mr. Curly, Mr. Curly. Now check this out, you guys. Watch Mr. Curly. See, Mr. Curly's trying to find that other trajectory, and this is why they have the bike there. This is why they have that Paul sign keep um they keep popping up in front of the 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 screen and stuff. And this is why they have the blocker right there. But I want y'all to check this out. So keep an eye on Mr. Curly. Now check this out. You guys is gonna hear an ambulance pull up and you're gonna hear that er uh, er, uh, you know what the ambulance do. And watch what Mr. Curly do when he hear that ambulance horn, you guys, and that's gonna prove to you a billion percent that they're over there doing something that they ain't supposed to be doing. Mr. Curly, you're going to literally jump up and act like you didn't do nothing when the ambulance got there, right? So what was you over there doing to make you jump like that? You was over there trying to retrieve that trajectory out of Duck's neck, right? Yep, exactly like I said, and this is why you picked the first two up as soon as the video started, Mr. Curly. You see, everybody know it's something strange going over there, on over there like that, because as soon as he heard that ambulance, y'all see how quick he jumped up and to spit off like he ain't did nothing, he ain't heard nothing, or he ain't saw nothing. You see what I'm saying? And this is why that guy said, hey, I thought the police shot that guy. Because, you know, the guy had just heard the shots. And then he looked down there and said, I thought the police shot him because there wasn't nobody on the scene but Bike Man and Mr. Curly. Chicago is not a safe place to be. You cannot even go downtown 
and enjoy your day without violence, bro. Look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. That's a Chicago rapper, man, by the name of FBG Duck. Shot. Now this guy right here, you guys, was the guy that was in charge of the whole play going down there as far as with the police and the cops and stuff and everyone down there. And believe it or not, you guys, he is the guy who actually picked the shooter for the FBG duck hit. You see what I'm saying? And who did he pick? None other but none other than Bike Man because him and Bike Man knows each other because Bike Man was caught up on a few things, you know, trying to smuggle drugs and things of that nature up to Chicago from California. And he was caught and he decided to work with the federal government just like Trenches News and the boys. You see what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, this officer was recruited to get the shooter. And you think I'm lying? Let me show you a billion percent fact that that officer and also Mr. Bike Man knows each other and they know each other real, real well. And let me show you this here right now. I want y'all to keep an eye on this guy right here. And then after this, I'm going to break it down for you. guys he spots his man he spot the man that he hired for the job y'all see the cop guy right there right he spots his man that he hired for the job now watch this he know his man just hit duck in the neck right he know his man is right there and he just spotted him so y'all check this out y'all oh, see his hand finna go out to shake the guy's hand y'all that allegedly just got the video. The bike man, he's finna shake bike man's hand, you guys. You see his hand going out, right? Now watch what bike man do. Now, you guys, we know bike man is holding the phone record. Now watch how he moved the phone, hold the phone another way, and he's gonna shake this guy's hand, right? But watch what this guy says to him. All right, all right, do what you gotta do. I see it. I ain't worried about it. I ain't worried about that. I ain't worried about it. Yeah. I ain't worried about it. Yeah, I'm good. I, I so why would the cop be walking up to the bike man asking him, is you good, bro? Because the bike man just let the shot off in the car. The bike man is drilling and is rushing. And the and the um the cop that hired him is asking him, is he good? You see what I'm saying? You see he walked up to him and shook his hand. You see how he spotted him? Because he was over there hollering at the other police and he said, where's the man of the hour, the first shooter, the next shot shooter? And then when he looked around and he seen him, you see him walk up to his buddy and what'd he say? You good, bro? Shook hands with him. And this is why dude turned the camera around his face. and going to try to say, hey, y'all. Oh, he's the only one acting like he got some sense. Um, No, no one is acting like they don't have sense out there. It's all a play, sir. And we see all the bull crap that you're trying. So how do he know the police for the police to walk up to him and say, is you good, bro? Now, let me prove to you a billion percent fact that he knows the police. The only person that came with some respect, man. Another shit, man, I shoot in the Gold Coast, man, of Chicago, y'all. This got to stop, man. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to stay out of trouble, man. I just saw this. I was riding my bike in the Gold Coast. So that tells you that the police know this guy some way, somehow, and he know this guy from crimes, right? Because you heard what the man said. Yeah, I'm good. I'm going to stay out of trouble. Yeah, I'm going to stay out of trouble. So... If you're telling the officer you're going to stay out of trouble, that must mean you've been in trouble before. and That must mean that officer know you, right? And it's just like I said, you got jammed up. You're from California. You got jammed up and you start working for the DEA along with the rest of these people. And they knew that you was a, um, a candidate to come up here and go and do that 
move on duck. And this is why you got up on duck so strategically because you was on that stupid little blue bike. And you already know, I know when your flight landed, you know I know where you rented the bike from. And you know I know how long you had the bike, sir. So don't sit up there telling a cotton picking lie. And another thing you know that I know is that Mr. Vlad TV was down in the Gold Coast as well. And you also know that I know that Vlad paid for Duck's funeral. And this is why Vlad told Mama Duck, I was happy to see him be there. I was happy to be there. And I was happy to give him his flowers. Strange, isn't it? This will be continued. Same bat time, same bat channel. You see? You see, I came back, y'all, and gave it to y'all in 3D. The same video, but it's back in 3D. And I'm out.